You probably know that vitamin D is very important, but do you know that there are great differences between races when it comes to vitamin D? If not, then do watch this video. I'm Dr. Maz Hussain. Do subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell and uh, share this video with your friends and family. And uh, keep in mind, most people are actually vitamin D deficient. So you would be doing people a favor if you were to share this video with them. So if you want us to make a video on a certain subject, you are more than welcome to write us and we'll look into it. We're going to talk about vitamin D and race. And uh, it may come as a surprise or it may not, but race is actually quite important when we talk about vitamin D deficiency. Now, there are studies that show that 61% of US uh, blacks in the US are severely deficient in vitamin D, while it's only 11% of uh, Caucasians in the US. So, you're, as a black, you're nearly six times more likely to be deficient in vitamin D, severely deficient in vitamin D, as compared to a white guy. And what does that mean, actually? There are tons of problems. You, I think you should watch our video on vitamin D deficiency and uh, what kind of problems you can have with it, uh, because we made a separate video on that. And this study showed that uh, lower concentration of uh, vitamin D was associated with the increased risk of cardiovascular events among participants who were white or Chinese, but not for black or Hispanics. Well, this is also interesting because it doesn't mean that if you have the same kind of deficiency, you'll have the same kind of symptoms from it. It also depends on your uh, race. So although uh, low vitamin D levels were associated with a higher risk of cardiovascular disease in white and Chinese, it wasn't seen in Hispanics and blacks. But they may have other symptoms resulting from vitamin D deficiency. This is another study that showed that a high percentage of US blacks have uh, low levels of vitamin D and uh, they are well below the level of white Americans, uh, Caucasians. And uh, poor vitamin D deficiency, poor vitamin D status uh, may increase the risk of, uh, risk of blacks as well as others for osteoporosis or cardiovascular disease, cancer, diabetes and other conditions. As we just saw, maybe the cardiovascular disease doesn't hold, but these are two different studies that can come to different conclusions depending on the number of uh, participants in the study. But it's interesting that um, we have this great difference between the black and the whites. And we know that from before also, uh, white people need only maybe 30 minutes in the sun to be able to maintain appropriate vitamin D levels, white, uh, while uh, blacks may need three, four, five, six hours before they can maintain the required vitamin D level. Uh, this is a study where they saw, uh, where they looked at the vitamin D level in different uh, ethnic groups in the States. So, uh, uh, Blacks in the UK had an uh, uh, average uh, vitamin D level of 70 nanograms per milliliter, while Mexicans had, US Mexicans had 22 nanograms per milliliter, and the Caucasians in the state, state were at 25 nanograms per milliliter. So the Caucasians were nearly 50% higher in their average vitamin D level as compared to blacks. So that's quite a dramatic difference. But now compare that to East Africans living in East Africa. They're at 46. And there are certain studies with the native uh, populations that sh show that they're actually uh, at the level of 100 to 120 nanograms per milliliter. So regardless of whether we use the 46 or 100, 110 to 20, it's quite evident that uh, blacks in the states are far less at the required level, at the appropriate levels. And we have a separate video on what is the appropriate level for vitamin D. We'll talk about that separately. But dark skin uh, is associated with lower vitamin D levels and it also is, it requires greater vitamin D supplements uh, to be able to reach the appropriate level. So. We have another video about vitamin D and weight. It also showed that the more overweight you are, the higher supplements you will need to be able to maintain appropriate vitamin D levels. So this is interesting. So if a person is black, overweight, then it goes without saying that they would need a far different dosage of uh, vitamin D as compared to a white person who is overweight and even worse, a white person who is not overweight as compared to a black person who is overweight, 
The dosage required to be able to maintain a good appropriate level with vitamin D causing no health issues would be far higher for, for the black overweight person than the white slim person. And within the white slim person as compared to uh, the, the overweight white uh, person as compared to the uh, slim white person, the overweight person, the overweight white person would require much higher level uh, of uh, vitamin D supplements to be able to maintain the required vitamin D level in the blood. So this concludes our video on vitamin D and race. Uh, we have more videos about vitamin D and weight, vitamin D dosages and what are the recommended levels that you should aim for if you want to fix your vitamin D deficiency. I'm Dr. Maz Hussain. Do subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell and you'll be updated with our latest videos. And uh, of course, again, so many people are deficient in vitamin D. So do share this video with your friends and families. Thank you for now.